Oliver Zhu. You may know him as How to Make the NBA. He pushed me mentally, physically, emotionally, and anything else you could think of. However, today is Judgment Day. Today, you'll receive your solo ranking. So first you need to know this. Oliver is a D1 college athlete, played professional in Hong Kong. He had one main job, and that's to defend. And boy does he do that. So we'll start there. I've played against a lot of good defenders, but Oliver ranks in the top five without a doubt. What makes him special defensively are a few things. He starts off attached to giving you no room to breathe Four, at all. Three. It doesn't matter if you start from half court or you start from the three-point line. He's right in your face. Then, he's a definition of active hands. He's tracing the ball, reaching in to make you uncomfortable, not letting you get in the rhythm. If you're thinking about a move you're going to make, he'll change that. His strength mixed in with his quickness is what makes him stand out the most in my opinion. You feel it with every little hand check he gives you. First off, look at his legs. They are molded through work. This guy works six to seven times a week, and this is the result of it. When you drive, it's hard to go through his hand check. And it's so tight to his body at first glance, a ref may not see that he's hand checking. Then if he walls up, it's hard to move him. When you're going for euros and step throughs, it's just hard to move him. His strength completely separates him. I guess you should know that Drew Holiday is who he's modeling himself after. So his defensive IQ is off the charts. Everything is purposeful. He pushes you to spots. He challenges everything. And at times, you'll see him playing defense backwards. And it's on purpose. Normally, the offense has no clue what to do when defenders are guarded backwards. For him, it's by design, and he knows exactly where you are. Lastly, from the defensive end, the type of pressure he puts on you wears you completely down. I was sick when I played him, but even if I was healthy, I would have been completely tired and I'm in shape. Him? He could have ran eight miles after we are done playing. He's in world-class shape. Him being in this type of shape, mixed with his strength and footwork, standing six inches over me, it makes him a complete standout when it comes to defense. Four. Now on the negative side, the fact that he gives so much effort on defense means that he's gonna foul. I literally am still injured from playing him, and that was nine days ago today. It was like being in a fight. Him reaching in so much would allow any player to draw plenty of fouls. He grabs and drives, wraps up around the waist. A few times got under my legs on the shot. He's a definition of make him work for every shot. You hate playing against him, Love it if he's on your team. But with that said, he made me better. And I wouldn't want to change him for anything. Now, let's cover his offense. From the mid post, he's really good. His shot release is super high and he's tall, so I was at a super disadvantage here. Not only that, but he's money from these jumpers. Whether it was from a standstill or fades or pull-ups. He does this thing where he fades to the left and he'll kick his left leg out, which is not common. Normally people going right will fade and use that right leg to balance. He can do it with both. What makes Oliver polished though is that he's super patient. I think the best thing that he does is his pump fade. I was taught in order to sell a pump fake, you start your shot so it all looks the same. Oliver's pump fake looks exactly like his shot, and he will use it and step through on you too. Good. 
Good move. Don't do me. Don't. Oh! Don't you miss him? Oh. Even at times where I know what he's gonna do, he will still rise up and knock the shot down. Something even impressed me, to be honest. Oh, good balance. What helps Olive on the perimeter is his shooting. He's not the best I've ever seen shooting the ball from a standstill, but during a one-on-one, -on -one, it's very respectable because you can shoot it from deep comfortably. So if you're able to shoot that far and the defense steps up, then it makes it easier to get to the rack. And while he's not D Rose fast or anything, he's quick enough to blow by making him a threat. Now, let's talk about him off the dribble. He gets busy off the dribble, but I wouldn't say his bag is super deep. One tendency that I picked up on that helped me pick up some doves is that when he drives right and you cut him off, he almost always snatches behind the back. Not for game, right? Don't change nothing. Four. Don't change nothing. If I were to pick a poison, it would be him shooting off the dribble. Most of the shots he would miss were him moving forward or if he had to dribble more. That's where I had more of my advantages. If he shot off the dribble from the three, I felt more comfortable. But even still, with that said, it's not easy to guard him. And I want to point out again that he really can shoot, especially from a standstill. I guess last but not least, his mental toughness is some of the best that I've seen. I only got on the break one time, and that's when I started winning on the perimeter. Other than that, make or miss, crossed over or not, he's the same guy, even Q. Now let's go over my criteria. Offense, defense, basketball IQ, physical tools, mental toughness, and then lastly, the experience. His offense is an 8.5 out of 10. He can really score, especially from mid-range. His defense, it's 100. I give him 100. 10 out of 10. He maxes out every possession. I'm not going to knock him for his effort, even when he fouls. Basketball IQ on the offense and defensive end is a nine. He takes what you give him and takes away what he can. Mental toughness is a nine out of 10. He never seems rattled and mostly always composed. Physical tools, long arms, strong as an ox. Not super athletic, but athletic. Good height. I'm giving him an 8.5 out of 10. Now, based on the experience, he made it so tough on me. Mid-post, I struggled guarding him. I couldn't give him the three. And even still, he has so much room to grow. My main knock is, I would love to see him become a better shooter off the dribble. Now, defensively, he was a nightmare, though. Never came out of the gym so physically beat up and mentally drained. But what I did discover and used often is that when I drove hard to the left, he began to open up. And as I began matching his physicality offensively, hard sweeps over the top, pinching his hand check in my armpit, and bodying him to the basket, I got way more comfortable. Even still though, it was so hard to score. Oliver Ju will be joining the A class as a two star. 100% earn my respect. Whether you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Let me know how you feel. Is he deserving of being in the A class as a two star? We got plenty more videos coming up soon, like Nesco. Nesco has been on the scene tearing it up, and I got a chance to match up with him. Let's see how he fares against me. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next video. Got a different type of hunger about him, too. Easy shot. I told you, he doesn't get right. He can knock those shots down like.